Okay, so if I was graphing number three, and I wanted you to give me at least three points on the graph, the first thing I would do is look at the function and think of the parent function. So the parent function is going to be just y equals uh, x squared. So it's going to look something like that. It's a weird zoom on this viewing window. And then I'm going to look at the transformations, and I see it's three to the right and then down one. But no reflections or no vertical stretches. Now, even if there was a stretch or a reflection, you would still, um, so if I asked you to give three points, you could still do it the, the same way I'm about to show you. So first I would find the vertex. I know that the vertex is usually at uh, zero, zero, right? Uh, but then it, every point gets moved to the right three and down one. So now it's going to be here. So there's my vertex. Now if I was just doing a quick sketch, I would just go like that and I'd be done. But let's find other points. So I would just make a table. So like x and f of x. So I already know that the point 3 comma negative 1 is on there. Now let me plug in like 4. All right? Plug in points near the vertex. So that would be 4 minus 3 squared minus 1. So that's equal to 0. So the point 4 comma 0. All right, so now you got two points on your graph. So you could do two things. If this in general... This would work for any type of function. You could just plug in another point, maybe on the other side of the vertex. Uh, plug in 2, and you get 2 minus 3 squared minus 1, and that's also 0. So there's your other point, 2 comma 0. Now you have three points. All right, because it's a parabola, and you know they're symmetric about the vertex, also absolute values are like this, but parabolas too then you would just take this point and reflect it over this line of symmetry and you can find your other point that way. But when in doubt, if you have to find specific points, just plug in values for x. So I would always try to find the vertex or the starting point and that's always going to occur at the x value that makes whatever is inside the parentheses or the absolute value symbol or the square root zero. Plug that in, see what y is and there's your starting point or your vertex and then just plug in points around the vertex into the function and that's how you can find more points.